The other uh, big uh, announcement for you is that you will be bringing back one of the old uh, Rob Liefeld concepts yeah. for the Liefeld 2012 yeah. Extreme thing. Yeah. So, what can you tell us about how you how you uh, got the title? Well, that's a crazy long road. I guess the short version is, I mean, I've known Rob for a long time, so I used to work at Image Comics. I know Eric Stevenson for a really long time, who's the editor on the whole thing. And um, after you know, kind of stopped. Like I used to work at Image, but I. You know, now focus on writing full time. I guess it kind of the same thing earlier about the influence soup. It was kind of like the connection soup, where I was writing. I knew Stevenson. I knew Rob, and they were like, "Hey, why don't you pitch for Glory?" Which is the comic I'm I'm, I'm writing, and Ross Campbell from Wet Moon is drawing, and very brilliantly so. Uh, and so yeah, we I pitched for it. This is actually before Ross even got in the mix, and they liked my pitch and said, "I'm writing Glory," which is. The whole thing is absurd to me, like in a great way. Just the idea of like thinking about being in fifth grade at the St. Paul the Apostle, like, you know, lunch area and reading Image Comics for the first time. And now being part of this extreme relaunch is the most surreal, like, awesome thing ever. You know, not to like make a pun on Rob's other company, but like, yeah. Um, but yeah, and then with Glory, it's, it's, they've given us a lot of freedom to kind of play with it. I wanted to, like, we don't, like, it's not a complete. I don't want to wipe away continuity because I hate when writers do that. And I think, you know, um, whether or not you're a, a fan of whatever book, um, I think it's kind of like, that, that, that's kind of BS to do to someone. So I approach continuity kind of like Rashomon. I'm like, all that stuff happened, but like the way I would interpret it, maybe a little different than like, like if you told, if we all had like a plot, right? And we all made a comic, our comics would be slightly different even though it had the same general plot. So all the continuity happened. The way we represent it may look a little different. Because, you know, Ross isn't the same artist as, you know, what they had originally had Glory, like Brandon Peterson on the last run, or whoever, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's been a thrill. Or, like, one thing I'm trying to do with kind of all the superhero stuff I do, because, like, if you want a traditional superhero book, there's two gigantic companies that will do that for you. And if you want an off kilter superhero book, there's Invincible. So I'm like, okay, if you have a genre where you can do anything, that means there's all these different subgenres that they're going to explore within that genre which I don't think has really happened too much with superheroes. And I think it's happening more like, have you guys read the Luther Strode? Okay, that is like the best superhero book ever. And it's not really a superhero book at all, but it has all these concepts and ideas of superhero books. And it's kind of more like a horror thing, you know, but it still like has its roots in that. So with Glory, we want to do almost like a war thriller, but it's rooted in superheroes. So the basic concept that you find on the first issue is Glory's been raised for this one purpose. There were two warring sides of this other realm that we interpreted on Earth as, as demons and gods, even though that's not really what they are. They're just another advanced race that all come from the came. Use the same metaphor again, cosmic soup that, you know. So her purpose when she was born was to be trained to either keep them united or if one faction breaks the pact, then to, to wipe out that side. And that was going on through all, all the Glory comics, right? So we start off when that war is over. And we kind of find out maybe it didn't go exactly like she won, but maybe that's not for the best. And so it's about her deciding, okay, how am I going to settle this my way? Like, I've been trained to do this thing for like 900 years. Like, what's, what do I want now, you know? And so it's about her kind of, you know, figuring that out and catching up with her. It's, it's a global book, like a, the first issue, and it takes place all over the world. The third issue's on Mars. So, yeah, it goes, I jump around in, 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 in history and everything like that. It's going to be a really dense book. Um, and yeah, there's cool superhero stuff. Ross can draw the hell out of her punching out a monster's head or whatever. But uh, it is more like a, like I do want to kind of do a sort of like 11th hour war thriller with Glory as the kind of general. And she just kicks a lot of ass. I don't know. Like I'd be like, whoa, whoa there's all these things with genre and subgenre, but like she punches stuff and it's cool. <laughs> That's really what it boils down to. So. So are you working heavily with Rob, or are you basically just kind of going off in your own direction? Um, a little bit of both, actually. Rob's like a great buddy, and I, you know, people say what they want to say. I, I, I love that guy so freaking much. And in terms of being an idea man, like, I mean, look at like, you know, whatever. I don't want to a huge tangent, but like, so many things have come out. Like what he did in like three months at Marvel. You know what I mean? Like Deadpool and whatever else, X Force has been so just exploded since then. So I, I always go to him for like advice or whatever. And the guy's the guy's brilliant, but he also like he wants us to have freedom too on the books, you know. So he approved a pitch and everything. And you know, if I have an idea, I want to run by him. We'll definitely run it by him, you know. Um, I work a lot with Eric Stevenson, who's the editor on the whole thing. So, but they've been really. I mean, it's been amazing. I've never thought work for hire could be so. I mean. I, 
In general, I always want to approach my work fire stuff with the passion I would put my own creator own things. I think if you're not doing that, you're doing it wrong. You should always be passionate about what you're doing. Uh, and yeah, I'm definitely approaching glory with that as well. So your other title uh, is Brutal with Frank Cho. Uh, it was announced uh, a little bit ago, but how's it coming out? Is it getting ready to, to hit the stands? Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're aiming for 2012. Um, and it's, man, that is, uh, talk about like, I mean, every book I do is a different approach, right? Like, that's not a book where I'm the writer and he's the artist. It's not like that at all. Like, it's something that we are coming up with together. We're co-writers on it. And it's cool, like, I've never written this way. Because usually, right, you write a script. And I like to work with the artist even though, like, I want their input. You know, I want them, like, they're my collaborators, not just someone, whatever. But on Brutal, it's like we're building it together. Like, he'll come up with a whole scene, he'll even write it, and then I'll come up with a whole scene and we'll write it, and then we'll put everything together. We plod the whole thing together. Um, and it's amazing because, like, Frank's an astonishing artist, right? I mean, he's one of the biggest in the field. And I think, and I'm, I think over the next couple of years we'll see this more, but I think people underestimate him as a writer. He's really freaking amazing. He's really fucking good. Uh, and to have, like, I'm just learning a lot just about, I mean, storytelling and stuff too, but just, uh, like, visual storytelling. But in terms of building a script and writing, I'm learning a ton from him. And so it's funny, because I think the final script that we'll make, I don't think anyone else could actually, like, interpret it at all. Because they're going to be, like, chunks by him, and then plots by me, and then some of it will be, like, like, I'll just write, like, a few paragraphs, but otherwise I'll do a really detailed full script. So it's like this Frankenstein of, like, different script ideas and everything, and script uh, concepts or whatever. So, um... But yeah, it's amazing. It's probably it's coming out in probably like around the summer 2012. Um, but yeah, it's been. I mean, I've learned so much from that guy, and having him as a, a partner and a co-writer and everything has been. Plus, it's Frank Show drawing stuff. Punch. I mean, like that's again. Like I was saying earlier about Glory. It's like I could be like all oh, this genre stuff. We're like, oh, collaboration. It's people punching people, and it looks really cool. You know, <laughs> and that's what it boils down to. But yeah, no, it's it's been astounding. I. I, I, I got I won some sort of lottery in a past life because I have collaborators like Andre and Ross and Frank and people get my back like Eric and, and Rob is just I don't I don't know what I did before but it like, I, didn't, I certainly didn't do anything this light in this life to uh, deserve it so I appreciate it so uh, I think it's fairly safe to say that your transition from the editorial aspect of comics to the writing aspect of comics is absolutely smooth you're having blast well yeah it's a blast. You know, <laughs> there's certainly bumps along the way, but I'm loving it. Like, there's nothing else I want to do. And to be able to, to get here at all, much less just this awesome support I'm having from all these amazing people and just some of the best collaborators I could ever hope for in comics. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, is a, it is a thrill. I mean, it's tough, you know, like, just starting that off. But, like, if you want to do it, like, I, I originally gave up on comics, like, years ago. I was like, screw it, I'm becoming an English professor, and that's because that's what people do. And my girlfriend I was like, but you hate this, why would you do that? Um, and, uh, you know, I, I gave it a shot, and now, like, eight years later, I'm talking to you. Multiversity, that's like, this is it. Now I can, like, retire, I'm done. You just talked to the 12th most popular comic book site on Technorati. All right, well, we got to wrap this up. Right. So, Joe Keating, thank you very much for talking to us. Yeah, yeah, hey, thanks for having me. I love the site, so. The end. The end. <laughs>